Hey friends, today we are going to be drawing a skeleton to go with our Calacas project. And I have my white piece of paper. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on white paper so that you guys can practice first. And then you will get to draw it on your black paper. When we draw with pencil on black paper, you can see it, it turns up silver, but it's harder to see when you're learning. So we're gonna do it on white paper first, and then when you feel comfortable, then you'll switch to your black paper. I'm also zoomed in a little bit so you can see because a skeleton is nice and tall, but I wanted you guys to be able to see a little bit closer. So the very first thing we're gonna do is start with our eyes. And skeletons obviously don't have eyeballs. They have spots where the eyes are supposed to be. So I didn't draw circles. I drew kind of these weird shapes and I'm just gonna very quickly fill them in with my pencil. And this tells me how big my skull is gonna be because we have a bone that goes down and around our eye. So down and around our eye. Then up top in this little hollow, we have a tall part of our head. Okay, so that's the top of the skull. This is called the cheekbone. These are the eye spots. Now we have to make a nose spot. I like to do an upside down heart that looks a little wonky. Here we gotta put our teeth. So I'm gonna draw a line straight across. I'm gonna make a rectangle underneath. And I'm gonna make some teeth. So the easiest way to do this is to draw some lines coming down and then draw a line across. So there's our teeth. Then we wanna make a jaw. So I'm gonna start in this little spot, come down and around and back up. Now you can already see that this is kind of wonky and that's okay because we're practicing, we're figuring out how to do the steps and calacas are not meant to be serious. They're meant to be silly. Some of them are beautiful and some of them are serious, but traditionally they're a little weird. So I'm gonna scoot my paper down a little bit. We're gonna keep going. We have bones on our neck. So I'm gonna do a very small rectangle there. I'm going to do a little circle around it. Then we have a bone in our chest called our sternum. And it's a little bit longer. It's wide at the top, skinny at the bottom. So that's your sternum. Then we have some bones down below that are a part of our back. So I'm gonna put some more rectangles, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between because there's smushy stuff in between that makes sure that the bones don't grind together. So I'm gonna do three of those, one, two, three, underneath my sternum. Then I'm gonna do a small one that's a little bit wider. It's almost like a trapezoid because the sides go out a little bit. Underneath, you have a tailbone. So it almost looks like your sternum, but it's, but it's down here. So it's wide at the top, small at the bottom, comes back up. That's called your sacrum. Then we're going to put two little ovals kind of to the side. That's part of your hip bones. Your hips have a space in there. So that's what the space is. And then I'm gonna start right here and make a big curve. Stop. This side too, starting at that little bone and working my way over. So those are the top of your hip bones. They curve up. But we're gonna stop because we're gonna do the legs in just a second. I'm gonna come back up here so that I can do our shoulders and our arms. So beside this little oval, I'm gonna do a long skinny oval on both sides, long skinny oval. I'm gonna start on this side, make a circle at the end. And bones have bumpies at the top. I like to do like a three, two lines down, and then a three at the bottom. So when we make our arm bone, that's what it's gonna look like. It's like a three or part of a heart. Come down to make the arm longer 
and then add your little bumpies at the bottom. So that's the top arm bone, but then there's also two arm bones down here. There's two so that your arm can twist. One bone here, one bone here. So I am going to make an oval there and then a little oval behind it. Then we have another little rectangle-ish shape that's for the bones in your wrist. And then here we're gonna kind of cheat a little bit because we're just gonna draw what looks like a hand with long fingers. We have five fingers, so your thumb and your other four. Then we're gonna make it look like bones by drawing little lines in between. I'm going to fast forward a little bit and finish the other arm. All right. So I tried to make my arms about the same length because your arms don't sit like this. They're usually about the same length. So our arms are done. The last thing we need is our legs. So our legs are kind of like our arms. It starts with that bumpy bone first. So I made my three or my part of a heart and our legs are longer. So I'm gonna do, I made that a little bit too long. There we go, but it's still got the bumpies at the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna pause and come back up here. There's a little bit of a curve right there in between so that it finishes the hip bone. Then we're gonna come down and this one's not as much of a bumpy, but it does meet like that. There's a little bit of a gap in between. That's usually where your knee is. Helps if you guys can see it, huh? So we have our little bumpies right underneath our big leg bone. These aren't quite as long. We're gonna go down, make it skinnier at the bottom. And then our little bumpies at the bottom. Your foot has a whole bunch of bones that we're not going to be able to draw very easily. So I'm going to do a little kind of weird shape. So it looks like a heel. So it looks like your heel right underneath your foot. And then it starts going to the top of your foot. There's a little bone right there. And we're going to make a little rectangle beside it. And the same thing like we did with the fingers, we're gonna cheat a little bit and make the little bumpies like toes and put the little lines on it. And one thing I did forget is our ribs. It's one of the most important things of a skeleton because it protects all of our lungs and our heart and the important stuff up here. So last thing we're doing is our ribs. We're doing skinny, ovals that end at our breastbone or our sternum. So I'm going to do three that are just ovals on both sides. And then the bottom ribs kind of start in one place and they all go together. So I'm going to start making an oval, but I'm not going to connect it. Come back down, make another one, stop. Come back, make another one, stop. And then maybe one more. And then as I'm coming in, I'm gonna curve it back up to that chest bone. So I'm gonna do that again. One, two, three, and then a little one, four, and bring it back up. So now we have our skeleton. Got your skull, got your arms, your ribs, hip bones, legs, and you can make this as realistic or as silly as you want. As soon as you feel comfortable drawing your skeleton, then you can get your black piece of paper and draw your one or two or three skeletons with pencil first and then add some white.